Crossfires are an essential CS2 concept that you need to understand to win more rounds on both T side and CT side. I'm going to tell you what crossfires are, what makes for good crossfires, and also how to beat crossfires. So what is a crossfire? A crossfire is where two players position themselves in a way that forces the opponent to expose themselves to both players at the same time. Now what is Skins Monkey? They're the sponsor for this video. Skins Monkey is a jolly automated CS2 trading platform that provides you with a 35% bonus on every cash deposit and gives you $5 free for any trade above $100. This holiday season, Skins Monkey is giving a gift away to everyone. This could be a free skin, up to 50% deposit bonus, or free balance on the website. There are no hidden requirements, just sign in through Steam and claim your gift. After you claim your gift, you can also get more free gifts by trading skins. They're also separately run an advent calendar which can give you gifts composing of XP, deposit bonus, and tickets to giveaways of free skins. Use my code Wilson Happy Holidays and thank you Skins Monkey. Think of crossfires like a triangle where the two CTs and the T make up each point of the triangle. As this triangle becomes more obtuse, the crossfire becomes more effective. The larger the angle is for the T between the two CTs, the more likely the T will have to expose their back to one of the CTs and the harder it is to isolate these fights. Along with that, with a wider angle between the two CTs, the T would have to swing their mouse a much larger distance to fight the second CT. The very best crossfires aren't even triangles, they become so obtuse that they just turn into a line with the two CTs on the outside and the T in the middle. Let's take a look at some examples of crossfires from what is, in my mind, the most crossfire heavy map in the pool right now, Inferno. Mid brackets on Inferno is a clear cut example of a good crossfire. One player short, one player arch, holding the T's when they run out of mid. However, if both players play the corners of of mid rather than flush against the wall there, then the T's will be able to isolate fights against them. That then makes it less powerful of a crossfire. This crossfire from site to pit can be super difficult to get through. Both of these are very cheeky angles that can be quite hard to clear, especially when you're exposing yourself to both of them at once. Over on the B site, there's a ton of opportunities for crossfires. One player new box and one player CT can be incredibly hard to deal with. Coffins and new box can be really tricky along with coffins and first orange. So how do we beat these really strong crossfires? Because crossfires are so strong, a lot of what we do on T side, whether we know it or not, is based on beating crossfires. So what are those things and how can you have more impact on T side by focusing on beating crossfires? Now I know that this isn't the most exciting answer. It isn't the cool answer, but it is the most important answer you're going to get on this topic and that's utility. Utility is your best friend when it comes to shutting down crossfires. If we go back to those examples on Inferno, let's look at how we can use our utility to shut down some of those crossfires. Against this one mid, I'll give you a second to come up with an answer because I think you'll do it very quickly. All we have to do is just smoke one side of mid. That way we can isolate the guy who didn't get smoked off and we can swing mid with confidence knowing that we just have one fight to take rather than having to do a 180 to fight somebody else. For short pushes, a molly into pit can be amazing because it'll eliminate a lot of those crossfires that the pit player can set up with their sight guy. And if you don't have a molly to use, you can also use your smoke in a variety of ways to block off that pit player from having any impact. On B site, util is incredibly important. Stand in this little corner and have your buddy drop you a molly and you can molly new box and first and second oranges just like this. Both of those mollies or even just one of them combined with a CT smoke and a coffin smoke will eliminate a ton of different crossfires for the CTs. My biggest point here is that the quote unquote basic utility is often the strongest. The reason why these lineups, this util, is thought of as basic isn't because the lineups themselves are really easy to learn or any other reason. It's, it's mostly just because they're so strong. 
that everybody, when they learn the game, when they learn util, they should learn these lineups first because they have the most impact on the game. And why do they have the most impact? Because they get rid of super powerful crossfires for the CTs. A smoke CT on B site Inferno is basic because it's just so strong that everybody should know it. So focus on just having those basic lineups down because they more often than not will have the most impact. Now, what if you're trying to push, but you don't have any util. How can you deal with crossfires? Well, here are three tips on how you can deal with crossfires without having to use util. A lot of people when pushing an area that has a lot of opportunities for crossfires, they'll be very timid and anxious. They try to have their crosshair on every angle at once and it becomes this big mess. By trying to be ready for every fight, they end up not being ready for any fight. Instead, it is so much better to swing with confidence and certainty. For example, let's say it's late round and my team is trying to push mid brackets without a smoke. We don't spot anyone playing the corners and so I have to expose myself to this crossfire. What am I going to do? I'm going to pick a side and I'm just going to swing. Now I don't know if it is a crossfire, if there's one short and one arch, if there's maybe just one arch or just one short. I don't know. So I'll use an educated guess based on the previous rounds or based on what's happened in the current round to decide which side is more likely that there is a CT. And if there are CTs on both sides, then this is where trading and pushing with your team becomes really important. If it is a crossfire and I swing out and get that first kill, it's not super likely that I can do a quick 180 and get that second kill. But if my teammates come with me and swing with me, it's possible that we can swing out of mid and kill both CTs without any of us dying. Now that's the perfect situation, but even if I die and I get traded, my team is in an excellent position. My second tip is to fade out a swing from the CT. This is something you can do if you're on your own and you're trying to get through a crossfire. Very often, one of the CTs in the crossfire will act as a bait for the other. The first CT makes the contact, they duck behind cover, they don't commit to the fight, and then the second CT swings out from their angle and finishes off the kill. If you have an inkling that this is the case, then expect it. Take that first contact, don't commit to it, and then reposition to be ready for that second fight. My third tip is that one great way to deal with crossfires, whether you're alone or with your team, is to overswing them. Overswinging a crossfire can do two things for you. Number one, you might swing past the line of sight of one of the CTs, which then allows you to isolate the fight with the second one. Secondly, if you have teammates with you, you are creating more space for them to swing and a greater opportunity to trade you out. Along with that, you're forcing the CT to readjust their cross they're pretty far off the angle that they were originally holding which then makes the fights for your teammates easier if you want more tips on how to get more kills go watch this video over there it's pretty cool please subscribe to join the wilson nation thank you so much for watching merry christmas and happy holidays to everyone thank you thank you and a huge thank you to my channel members they support me in what i do and i am just so grateful for them so Thank you. Have a great day. Good luck. Have fun in all your future games.